Denise Salcedo is joining us here. Yeah, we're back, everybody. What's going on, Denise? I'm on. I was like, I was waiting. I was like, wait, am I on now? All right, here we go. But I'm so excited to be on. This is my third time now on Wrestling Observer Live. So, you know, just adding it to, you know, the list of cool things. But who's counting? I'm counting. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, last time uh, we had... Uh, we did a show yesterday basically doing a preview, and we just ran all over the break, and then ratings came in. We didn't even get to finish this thing, so we're going to get started right now. We're going to do our preview for this show on Sunday, and we're going to get all of our thoughts. I would like to note that last time, Denise and I got everyone right, and Mike missed one. So we're going to see how it goes hey. this time. I had to try to, to, to go outside of the box. We couldn't have agreed on everything. I had to be a little bit different there. No, you don't. We want we want honesty here. So you just had to ruffle the feathers, Mike. <laughs> now, Mike, you are allowed you are allowed to change your prediction from yesterday. Th these will be the final predictions today. All right. I got a I got a new prediction here. You ready for this? But let's mm. start with the young bucks versus Chris Jericho and MJF. Denise, who's winning this match? All right, I'm definitely going with the Young Bucks. I actually think that we A, may be seeing a run-in from Papa Buck, or maybe even Sammy Guevara comes out and cost MJF and Jericho the match. So my pick is definitely the Young Bucks. I would agree wholeheartedly with that. Mike? You know, 24 hours is a, a long time for me to try to remember something anymore. So uh, if I, if any of these change, it it's just comes from an honest place. But I believe that the Young Bucks are going to win. I believe Sammy is going to interfere. I like what Denise said. I could absolutely see a Papa Buck appearance, just maybe with a huge bandage wrapped around his head with that, that massive, crazy you know shirt that he's got all shiny and opened up as he struggles to the ring. But ultimately, I think Sammy's the one who ends up giving, giving the Young Bucks the victory. We got Team Taz versus Darby, Allen, and Sting. And Denise, your prediction. All right, I got to go with Darby and Sting. I cannot imagine Sting losing, you know, in his return match. So I can't see that whatsoever. And I also don't think that seeing Brian Cage and Ricky Starks necessarily lose to them would actually hurt them. And I actually think that the fact that they're even like in this, like including Ricky Starks, the fact that he's even in this match sort of elevates his star power. So I think that uh, them losing wouldn't necessarily hurt them. So definitely Darby and Sting. And then also Darby is going be you know defending his tnt title afterwards so i do think that he can't be defending it coming off of a loss well you know i was i did a big long rigmarole loop de loo to i don't even know what i ended up predicting at the end yesterday but yes my whole prediction yesterday was based on well where do we go from here with this feud not even considering that this may be the end of this feud i mean they've been going on forever Yes, the winner of the Face of the Revolution ladder match is going to get a shot at Darby. So, end this feud. Darby, Allen, and Sting win. And yesterday, I said that if they win, Darby should get the pin. But the more I think about it, I don't want Sting to always be beating the younger guys. But it is Sting's debut. It's a big street fight. I got no problem with Sting pinning Ricky Starks. And then we just move on to whatever we're moving. And so I don't care who wins at this point. I don't want Sting to win all the time. I would not mind him winning this time. Sting and Darby Allen are the winners. Mike? You know, when Powerhouse Hobbs comes back, you could always go back to this feud. He is you back. Absolutely could. He was back on Wednesday. Um, so he's back on Wednesday. So He I was mean, back you know, on Wednesday. A, he was on the show it, Wednesday. To me... It, it, there's that's right because he came he ran in at the end there so to me uh, unless it's going to be Hobbs which is you're going to do a Hobbs Darby Allen feud I don't see there any reason that, that Sting and Darby Allen don't get the victory there you know what I mean uh, unless Hobbs is going to do something which leads to Darby Allen losing and you could do that because then you could have Sting clear the ring of everybody and you know give the Scorpion death drop to Taz at the end I mean that would be a nice payoff if the if the good guys are going to lose but uh, to me I, I would I, I just can't see Sting being on the losing side with him coming back. I don't know who gets the victory, but I'll go with Darby and Sting. Oh, yes, me. Hikaru Shida and Ryo Mizunami. 
Denise. All right. So I my thoughts on this one here is that this feels like e either or whoever wins, it feels like it's going to be a lateral move. So with that being said, I almost think that we should just keep the bow on Hikaru Shida. And I still think that there are potential matchups that Hikaru Shida could have with, you know, Britt Baker, Thunder Rosa, and even Nyla Rose, because after her performance in the tournament, I do think that it can sort of feel a little bit more fresh instead of a thrown together match. So I still think that they can do something with Shida as champion so my pick is Shida well I am going to also go with Akar Shida I also believe that it really doesn't matter I think that likely the next AW women's champion is probably going to be Britt Baker so you can flip the coin who do you want Britt Baker to eventually beat Shida or Ryu Mizunami I feel like if you go too quickly I don't want to devalue the title so I don't like the idea of Rio winning and then shortly thereafter losing to Britt Baker if you want to run with Rio for a while great she can win if you're not going to if if Brit is next, then Kara should just retain and lose it to Britt Baker or whoever. That's why I think it absolutely matters. You know, I to me, you still want to just continue to build up Sheeta. That you should want to continue to build up Sheeta. I don't want to see Ryu Mizunami win the title unless she's going to win the title and take it back to Japan and defend it in a bunch of high profile matches, which she's not going to do. She's not signed the stardom. So I, you know, as far as getting your really glossy you know deal uh, you know i don't know if she, she she's with marvelous she's not even with tokyo tokyo joshi pro so unless she's going to defend it there in high profile situations i don't see a reason to switch that belt Sheeta is one of your stars she's one of the people that you want to build like a Britt baker like you know a handful of other people don't beat those people for no reason other than wow surprise we got a title change no way Ryo mizunami it just isn't over enough she doesn't have enough name appeal and from what she showed on wednesday and some of the reactions she's just not that person just to me it's crazy to do that and, and to even think that we have adam page versus matt hardy i'm gonna go first on this one i got this idea thursday listening to Vinny of all people so the dark order wanted adam page to join and they were really nice and they were really friendly and at the end of the day he told them no the dark order until the death of Brody Lee, they were heels. And obviously in the wake of Brody Lee's death, I mean, it's, there were baby faces, obviously. But, I mean, it's a dark order, dude. They're bad guys. My prediction is that Matt Hardy beats Adam Page with help from the dark order, and Matt Hardy is your new leader of the heel dark order that's my prediction wow i feel like i feel like i would freak out about that just because i really do think that adam page should be winning this like i just can't see matt hardy right now beating adam page because in my opinion like first of all this has been one of my favorite stories like coming in and watching aew dynamite each and every single week one of my favorite stories looking forward to it is the matt hardy adam page storyline because i love like their chemistry together and all of that but i just can't see See him defeating Adam Page because I really do think that Adam Page is going to be the guy that down the line will, you know, dethrone Kenny Omega. And I don't want to see Adam Page go through all of these losses. So my pick, and it has to, has to be Adam Page. And I would be shocked if that were to happen. But you know what? If it did then I can totally see it the way that you painted this picture, especially because John Silver has also been playing the part of he's like sort of like fanboying after Adam Page. So it's kind of like, oh, I would be a little bit heartbroken if that were to happen. Man, I'm getting buried in the chat. The Dark Order's baby faces, Brian. <laughs> it's the Dark Order. The leader's name is Evil Uno. Come on. I get out of say, here. It's been I so can't lovable, say it didn't... too. Like, the whole relationship between John Silver and Hangman Page, to me, has been, like, hilarious. Well, I can't say it, it didn't pass through my head. It really did, that, that something like that could happen. You have big money Matt there, and... I mean, sure, it's a way to, to kind of spice up the Dark Order, and you don't necessarily have to get rid of that Hangman Page-Silver situation either because you could have Hangman Page get Silver out of it. To me, it's more of a question of what do you then do with Private Party? How do they fit in with the Dark Order? Are they continuing to be separate away from the Dark Order? So uh, to me, I've been saying Adam Page. I think I said Adam Page yesterday. I will continue to go with that. But uh, as far as like that scenario goes, to me, that's not out of the ordinary out of the out of the question at all and it's not one of the i'm sure somebody's gonna go well, well it's a wwe thing to do 
I don't think that's necessarily the case. No, if you have it all really makes good sense. Come on. Yes. And if you have a really good plan for Matt Hardy to be big money Matt leading these guys, and maybe they descend him back into madness again of, of him playing the piano, God knows where you could go with that. So I, I'm not out of the realm of possibility, but I'll still go with good guy Adam Page getting the victory. Dude, look at these geeks. Brian, <laughs> negative one is the leader of the... Bro, this kid's nine. What are you going to do when this kid has to go back to school? Did you hear that kid on commentary? You're going to pull this kid out of school now? Uh, No, come on. Not to mention, this is a child labor violation by the Dark Order. Those are not baby faces. But Brian, get out of nowadays, here. Nowadays, though, kids with like TikTok and YouTube and like all of this stuff are like advancing and getting all of these careers in before they're like of age. Well, that's mm-hmm. fine, but that doesn't mean that Matt Hardy can't be the leader and he can be the sidekick, the co-leader. Anyway, Cody, Scorpio, Penta, Lance Archer, Max Caster, and a mystery person face of the Revolution ladder match. I think it's going to be the mystery person. What do you think, Denise? It's got to be the mystery person. Like, whoever the mystery person is, they're going to come in. They're going to make, you know, let's you know, debut. You got to, you know, you got to become like a star right off of it, right? So it has to be the mystery person. And I'm just going to go all out here. And I'm going to say that the mystery person is going to be Ethan Page. That's where I'm going with this. And I think that that would be the winner for this. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Mike? I think it is going to be TBA as well, too. I just, I don't know if I'm bold enough to give a prediction. You know, somebody said RVD. Boy, RVD would fit nicely into a, a ladder match. Uh, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I'll go with TBA. But again, I, I have no idea who it's going to be. I know Ethan Page has been talked about a lot. It would make sense because his contract was up and the pieces fit perfectly for him to show up there. But I don't know. The two names that people keep bringing up, and this is not from anyone in AEW, this is just fans. Ethan Page, Speedball Mike Bailey. Those are the two names I keep hearing people suggest. Hmm. Kenny Omega, John Mox, an exploding barbed wire death match for the AEW title. Who's winning this, Denise? All right, so for a second, I thought, all right, well, John Moxley is the one that's obviously more familiar, you know, with this type of match, right? But it's just kind of like, Kenny Omega is the belt collector, so I don't necessarily see him losing the belt. So given that, I don't think that I th- okay, I'm going to go with Kenny Omega, but I think that it's not going to be a clean finish whatsoever. I think that either Don Callis or the Good Brothers are going to screw John Moxley, and that is essentially how Kenny Omega is going to win this. So I definitely do think Kenny Omega is winning, but I do not see a clean finish whatsoever for this match. I want to add here, somebody sent this in as a text on Bus It Open. Tony Khan said the big signee for the weekend, for those of you thinking uh, Joey Styles or whoever, Tony Khan said it was his favorite wrestler of all time. So somebody go through that Death Valley driver board. Start combing through them posts. Oh, my God. Is it Nord the Barbarian? Is he bringing in the Berserker? Yeah, he better not after what that guy was going to do to oh me. Oh, God. Miro funny. and Kip Sabian versus the best friends in a tag team match. I predict Miro runs roughshod and smashes these two fools, and he gets the win. I 100% agree with that. I don't think that Miro should be losing. I think he definitely needs the win. There's a lot of people, you know, talking about the fact that his run in AEW has been very underwhelming. So to kind of get the ball rolling once again for Miro, you got to get those wins, got to get them, you know, running wild on everybody. So, yeah, I do agree with Miro and Kip on this one. I can't believe we're out of time for this segment. Back in a moment, we're going to try and get these last two. Observer Live about the mystery person the rumors during the break and i think we've all concluded that the mystery person on sunday is going to be the great okan <laughs> <laughs> oh man can you imagine the reaction of people online if that were to happen yeah i quit love it please okay please. denise I, we okan. were going to do these matches but we're out of time you have to tell everybody what we're going to do on sunday we got a we got a big post show coming up and you got a wednesday show start plugging 
Yeah, seriously. All right, guys. So first of all, this Sunday on Twitch, as you guys heard Brian mention it earlier, I am going to be doing an AEW Revolution post show. So I'm going to be recapping everything that's going down in the night. As you guys know, we just went through the card. There are so many matches. Obviously, we're going to know who the mystery person is. So we'll also be talking about that. If you haven't tuned into any of my shows, they are very interactive, very fun. So we kind of get a feel for what people are thinking, what people are saying, and all of that. And speaking of that, if you haven't tuned into my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, on the YouTube channel, F4W YouTube channel, check it out because that one has been really fun. And we sort of built like a little community now where like, you know, we get the regulars, get some new people in there. And we just talk about AEW Dynamite. We talk about NXT. And if there's like a big, you know, wrestling story for that week, we'll obviously talk about it too. But it's a very fun place to share some fun and honest opinions and all of that. But I really do hope you guys tune in both to the AEW Revolution post show on the Twitch channel. So not on YouTube, and then Wednesday nights uh, after AEW Dynamite and NXT at the F4W online YouTube channel for Speak Now Pro Wrestling. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's it. Look at that. Right when the music hit. Video.f4wonline.com. You can watch Denise's show. You can watch replays of most of our shows. And there's tons of clips up there as well for free. So video.f4wonline.com or just search F4W Online on YouTube. Lots of great stuff. Thank you, Denise. Mike, Thank callers you. and listeners. Twitch homies, Twitch jabronis. We'll talk to you next time, Wrestling Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.